Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sam LaRue. Today we're talking about one of my favorite ways to slim down that waist by simply doing an age old technique called corseting. So there are three key aspects to how corseting really works to train your waist. So first and foremost, so it's training your waist to slim down. It's basically binding you into a smaller frame. Every time you pull the corset a little bit tighter, you're training your waist to be smaller. It also helps with toning. So while you're wearing your corset, you are literally doing mini crunches. Like when you sit down, you're crunching and holding your core. When you get up, you're, you're literally holding your core in so that way you can help like propel yourself up and you don't even realize it it's not like you're painfully getting up it's just like a, a brace it's just like you're hugging your core in tight so that way you can maneuver around so it really helps you to tone and then the third thing is you're not as hungry if you have an issue with monitoring how much food you eat or if you have a propensity to overeat, corseting might be the way for you. Cause literally it like shrinks your stomach. It's the equivalent to like if you get your stomach stapled. So it's really great if you have that issue of overeating. So if you wanted to spot train and you're just trying to get that hourglass figure or you're just trying to trim down your waist, the best way and the, and the only way really that I know is corseting. And this is something they've been doing since the beginning of time. So it's like nothing new. We know corseting works. There's all kind of proof and evidence. There's girls that have corseted all the way down to like a 10 inch waist, like something ridiculous. So we know it works. It's just, I feel like, I guess there's some misunderstandings as far as how to corset, when to corset, like the whole procedures on corseting. And I do think a lot of people get confused with waist trainers and corsets. Okay, so I want to show you some things that are not corsets. So that way you'll know the difference in case you're out and about or you're like on Amazon trying to find your very own corset. This, my dear, not a corset. If you can do this with it, it's not a corset. You could wear this working out or if you had like an outfit you wanted to wear, this is gonna like compress you so that way you look good underneath an outfit or your gym clothes. That's the only thing this is for, okay? So not a corset. If you go onto Amazon, you will see items just like this listed under corset. Not a corset. Not a corset. <laughs> okay, so no, no. This. Not a corset. Great to wear at the gym. It's breathable, but again, not a corset. Something like this. This is great to wear with a particular outfit, like going on a date night or something like that. If you want to look kind of snatched, great for that. Obviously, not a corset. Let's get into the actual corsets now. Now, I'm gonna start with my favorite. So, my absolute, hands down, favorite corset is her. She is my favorite. <laughs> so, one, I love the fact that she's satin. The satin finish is just soft. It's easy, if you do get water or something on it, it's easy to like just wipe it on off. So, I love that. So, it has six total steel bones. So you can tell I'm not able, there is no folding this, right? It's solid, which is what you need when you corset because literally when you're corseting, so basically when you're corseting, what you're doing is trying to get this back area, which is your strings, you're trying to get the strings to pull shut. So when the strings pull shut, Essentially, that means you've hit your target, okay? So that means you hit your target, you've been able to close the corset. When I sit down in this, it's gonna keep my stomach flat. It's not gonna have that bend that you have when you're wearing one of these. So when you're wearing one of these, 
this is just compressing like your stomach, right? It compresses your fat. But when you sit down, you get like a big, huge fat bubble. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. If you've ever worn shapewear, you know what I'm talking about. You get that big, huge, like fat bubble. That's just like, you look cute standing up, but as soon as you sit down, it's over. <laughs> the jig is up. But in corseting, that never happens. So when you sit down, you look just as good. It holds you together and compresses you evenly throughout your body. So how you stand, how you look standing up is exactly how you're gonna look sitting down. That's the beauty of coursing is you actually, you look so good, but what it's really doing is it's holding that shape and that's what's gonna mold you. Your shape never changes from sitting to standing. So it's important that you get a corset that's really gonna hold you in. You don't want anything flimsy that is not gonna hold your shape together. Now keep in mind, all of these corsets I've had for over 10 years, they have kept their shape and kept the integrity 10 plus years. I mean, incredible. I paid over $100 for all of these well worth it, worth every single penny. I mean, if you add that up, $100, I've had this over 10 years, it's totally worth it. So this one's my absolute favorite. This one I got from Orchard Closet? Corset. I got this one from Orchard Corset. Another key aspect, you wanna make sure when you're buying a corset that it has a size in inches. You do not want to buy a corset that's in a small, medium, or large. That's a no-no. That's not a real corset. Real authentic corsets are going to have sizes. So for example, this is a 26 inch corset. So typically what you're going to want to do is go down four inches from what your waist is. So if my waist is a 30 inch, I want to get a 26 inch corset because the goal is to get this corset to go all the way down here, right? To close. So once this corset, once I can pull these strings all the way till they can't be pulled anymore, this indicates I'm now at a 26 inch waist, which may be my goal. If I want to go down, like once I met the goal of the 26 inches, at that time, I can say, well, let me go get another corset and I'm gonna go four more inches and work on getting four more inches. Or I'm just gonna stay where I'm at, keep this 26 inch corset and use it as maintenance. So you have options, but you definitely wanna find a corset that's around four inches smaller than what you currently are. It's integral, it's key to measure. I know a lot of times when we buy stuff, like normally I don't even measure, I just guesstimate. You don't wanna do that on coursing. You wanna make sure you get your exact size that you need. And I say that because let's take a look at the first corset that I ever purchased. Okay, this one too is from Orchard. I think these are all from Orchard corsets actually. Just let me know guys if you see a problem with this one. This one is a 22 inch corset. I literally just don't know. I don't even know. Like, why would I get this baby 22 inch corset? <laughs> I think, so again, I just did not measure. I was like, I like the style and vibe of this one. I wanna be 22 inches, let's get it. And I keep in mind, this is 10 plus years ago. I don't even think it's realistic for my waist to ever be a 22 inch. I don't think it's ever been one since the beginning of time, since birth, I mean, I don't know why, this was just an impulse buy. First first corset and I was just like, yep, that's the one. Totally not the one. This thing, do you see, this is, <laughs> this is how much my back is out. To get to here would be crazy. Like it's not even fathomable for my waist to be that small. This is how the size of this. If we were to tie this all the way up, let me show y'all the size. This is ridiculous. Okay. This would be the size. This. I'm like, this doesn't even cover up one of my boobs. Like, let's be real here. This is the small, <laughs> like, I don't know. This is like the size of my arm. What are, why? Why did I do this? But anyways, 
So I really haven't been able to really wear this. I bought the wrong size. Um, and that's when I went back and bought this one, the satin one. So love everything about this. It's the right size. It's the right fabric for me. Love, love, love. So much more prefer. Now, let me show you another mistake I made. This is corset number three. This is my second mistake. So I made a mistake on the first one I ever bought, corrected that, and then bought the second one, and this one's perfect. And then I was like, you know what? I so much enjoyed this one. Let's do it again. Let's buy another corset and get bigger and better. So I went for the big daddy. This versus this. For me, I was equating more support being better. Not necessarily the case, no. Because one, I didn't measure. And this is why I'm saying measuring is so important. I did not measure this. I went with a 26 inch. So this one is 26 inches. And I just thought that's all that mattered. But not just your waist size matters. Your waist length matters. This literally hits me on my, like when I'm sitting down, it hits me on my thigh. So this does not work. It cuts off circulation. It's just way too long. It hits like way up here and it goes all the way down to my thigh. So yeah, so this is way, 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 way too long. It's uncomfortable. I cannot even sit down. So this was another fail. <laughs> way too long. So the key in me even showing you these is just to tell you to do your due diligence. If you're gonna spend a good bit of money and if you're gonna invest in a corset, do all the correct measurements. Do not skimp out in the measurements and say, oh, this should fit, you know, oh, this one should work. Definitely do your due diligence. So let me do a disclaimer though. Please consult a doctor before you do anything. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, I'm not board certified. I'm just giving my own personal opinions. So yeah, definitely figure out if it's right for you, but this is just gonna be an overview on what I've done, the success I've seen, and the journey that I'm about to go on. This coming week, I wanna do an experiment of seeing how long I need to wear it to see results. So maybe is it three hours? If I wear it every day for three or four hours, what the results may be. So I'm very curious. Like if I'm consistent with it, I'm curious on what the results will be. So if you're interested in learning more about corseting and following my journey, definitely subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I do post new videos. I think that's it for today. I just wanted to kind of go over some basic fundamentals of corseting. Until next time, I'll see you beauties later. Bye. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until